Namaste friends, I am Ved. How would you feel if a student who does not follow any rules is awarded but an obedient one is penalized? This is what perhaps is going to happen to southern India after 2026 delimitation when even more seats will be given to states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and few other Hindi speaking states who have not bothered to control their population growth. Delimitation means the process of fixing the number of seats and boundaries for the Lok Sabha and Legislative Assemblies. It will happen based on the first census which will be conducted after 2026. It may also happen after 2024 Lok Sabha elections. We formed the Republic in 1950. During the first Lok Sabha, we had 489 seats. In 1976, during emergency, the then Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, freeze the number of seats in Lok Sabha based on 1971 census till after 2001 census. The Atal Bihari Vajpayee government further freezed it for 25 years. So delimitation was postponed till 2026. The way our democracy is structured, more the population of a state, more Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha seats it has. After the delimitation, the states which have not controlled their population or followed the rules of family planning will be given more seats, especially UP and Bihar. And states from southern India who have focused more on human development will suffer. There are two probable solutions to this problem. Again restrict the number of members of parliament that is MPs and only increase number of members of Legislative Assembly or MLAs in a state. It's the MLAs, Municipal Corporators and Panchayat members who solve the problems of citizens at daily level. The MPs work at national level and take care of things like defence, external affairs, railways, telecommunication, taxation etc. The central government schemes are executed mainly by the MLAs. But Modi government is unlikely to freeze the number of seats. If that would have been the case, they would not have built a new parliament which have a seating capacity of 888 in Lok Sabha and 384 in Rajya Sabha. So this option is closed forever. The second solution is to give equal number of seats to Rajya Sabha to every state of our republic. Whether it is Telangana or Haryana, Andhra Pradesh or Uttar Pradesh, Goa or Bihar, all should have equal number of seats in Rajya Sabha. This will make sure no state irrespective of size or population feels ignored or alienated. Currently people of Northeast feel alienated because whole of Northeast have 25 seats in Lok Sabha and the region consists of 8 states which includes Sikkim, Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur, Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh. Only one Bihar has 40 seats in Lok Sabha. People from Southern India also feel neglected many a times and this feeling will only increase if politically we are alienated. Drawback of this idea is demand for more states will increase. Every district will try to become a state because it is more beneficial for them as even they will have direct representation at the national level. But it will become chaotic for the central government to manage more than 800 states. To avoid this, the central government can freeze the number of states. According to Article 3, Central government has the right to create new states, alteration of areas, boundaries or names of existing states. The central government can pass a bill to freeze the number of states after giving statehood to Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Then we would be having 30 states and 7 union territories. Alteration of state boundary can happen depending on people's will. So equal number of seats for every state should happen in Rajya Sabha which will improve the federal structure of our union because most of the bills are passed after both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha have approved it and then the bill is sent to our Indian president who studies it. If she likes the bill she will sign it or the bill will be sent back to Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. So if every state have equal number of seats in Rajya Sabha even small states like Sikkim and Goa who does not have more than one seat in Lok Sabha will have a voice and better debates will happen in our parliament. Thank you.
प्लीज लाइक कमेंट सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द वीडियो